Harsh relationship lessons your therapist won't tell you on your face. Visiting a therapist for mental damage. Therapists assist individuals in enhancing cognitive and emotional abilities, alleviating symptoms of mental illness, and navigating life's challenges for improved well-being. Counselors work with emotionally distressed individuals, providing treatment and rehabilitation. Emotional stress often stems from relationship conflicts, prompting individuals to seek therapy. However, therapists may not always be forthcoming about the harsh realities of life. The sooner you accept the failure in your relationship, the better it is. Few therapists will emphasize that prioritizing honesty with oneself should take precedence over assessing the rightness or wrongness of actions or inactions. Accepting a failed relationship sooner rather than later is often beneficial. There's no need to prolong an unhealthy relationship, as failed relationships can contribute to anxiety, depression, and other mental health challenges. If the relationship is difficult in the beginning, it's not going to work easily in future. Therapists often tread carefully, avoiding excessive frankness with patients to minimize the risk of causing emotional harm or exacerbating their mental state. Consequently, therapists typically refrain from openly discussing the possibility of ending a relationship or asserting that if initial stages indicate difficulties, long-term viability may be challenging. Your heartbreak is not uncommon, it is quite ordinary. Heartbreak is often romanticized despite its lack of true romance. Counselors avoid discussing the common occurrence of heartbreak to prevent negatively affecting their patient's mental well-being. Instead, therapists aim to allow patients the necessary time to come to terms with a failed relationship at their own pace. While finding someone who loves and accepts you is gratifying, the practice of self-love is everlasting. Your physical transformation will never fix a broken relationship. In moments of insecurity, you may find yourself altering your hairstyle, appearance, job, or even relocating, hoping these changes will mend your wounds or repair the damage to your heart. However, your therapist will likely not disclose that such changes are temporary and offer little long-term benefit. True healing comes from within, where developing inner strength is essential for lasting resolution. Do women cheat differently than men? Let's decode the answer. The ongoing debate about whether women cheat more frequently or in distinct ways compared to men persists. When a couple becomes unhappy and no longer finds satisfaction in their relationship, they may seek fulfillment outside of it through infidelity. In this process, some individuals, both men and women, employ cunning tactics to avoid detection. However, it's commonly believed that women approach cheating differently, with unique perspectives and methods. Let's delve into this further. What do studies suggest? Numerous studies indicate that women often engage in infidelity when they encounter a perceived healthier or more appealing alternative to their current partner. They seek specific opportunities to enjoy themselves and escape the stress of their marriage. In contrast, Men tend to explore a broader range of opportunities, seeking compatibility with multiple individuals. Women have different ways of cheating. They are highly cautious when it comes to their infidelity, possessing a profound understanding of their husband's behavior, which facilitates concealing their unfaithfulness. Additionally, they are adept at manipulating their husband's emotions to suit their needs, making it easier for them to engage in extramarital affairs. Reasons why women indulge in infidelity Certain women, grappling with low self-esteem, seek validation beyond their relationship, leading them to engage in infidelity. Others may cheat out of feelings of spite, anger, or dissatisfaction with their current relationship. Loneliness and emotional neglect are also common factors driving women to cheat. While these motivations may parallel those of men, women often experience them with heightened intensity. Sexual deprivation. Sexual dissatisfaction stands as a significant catalyst for infidelity within relationships. When couples feel their sexual desires remain unfulfilled, they may resort to cheating. Men often seize any available opportunity, whereas women are more selective, seeking individuals who align better with their preferences. Occasionally, women develop deeper connections with those they encounter, presenting another avenue for potential infidelity. 
6 Best Sex Positions to Try If You Can't Find a Bed Try these positions. Sex can be exhilarating, enjoyable, and far from routine when you introduce some excitement. If you're without a bed, consider trying these sex positions. They're simple, don't demand yoga expertise, and offer complete satisfaction. 1. Lumberjack Experiment with this stance by positioning yourselves against a wall or tree to simulate intercourse. Have your partner stand against the support while entering from behind. If attempting this in a public setting, proceed at your own discretion. If against a tree, exercise caution as it may be somewhat rugged and could potentially cause discomfort or abrasions for your partner. 2. Missionary This position can be quite adventurous, particularly without a bed or suitable floor space. If attempting this in a public setting, such as on public transportation, be aware of the potential legal consequences if caught, especially in regions like India. Assuming these concerns are addressed, begin by having the receiving partner lie flat on their back. Enter your partner while ensuring your legs remain outside theirs. Press your chest against your partners and then engage in a back and forth thrusting motion. It's important for the receiving partner to remain still during this activity. 3. Doggy Style to try this position, find a space where your hands and knees won't be uncomfortable. While one partner assumes a hands and knees position, the other can penetrate from behind, creating a passionate and spontaneous encounter. 4. In the chair. If you have access to a chair, you're all set. Simply straddle your partner and engage in intimate activity. Keep it brief if you're in a public setting. The thrill of being in a potentially compromising situation, where someone might unexpectedly walk in, often leads to an exhilarating climax. 5. Oral. Engaging in oral sex with your partner can be enjoyable, especially when it occurs outside of your usual bedroom setting, it can feel like breaking the rules. You might even pretend you're in a different environment, whether it's a staircase, a window ledge, or near a tree, get creative, but exercise caution. Whether you're exploring your partner's G-spot or giving them a blowjob, it often leads to thrilling and satisfying experiences. 6. Shower Sex Simply head to a bathroom and indulge in the moment. While some couples endorse using public restrooms, remember that it comes with risks. Just be careful not to slip, and make the most of the opportunity. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.